Hey all and welcome to this week's acquisition report here at the CIO PCC. I wasn't going to do one of these this week. I'd only picked up three new items, but a fourth one popped up today and I thought, you know what? These are all very interesting items. They have a little story behind most of them. So what the heck, let's do one. And we're gonna start out over here in the horror section because one of them came about because I did that recent favorite video, favorite collection video, where I talked about Freddy and uh, Leatherface and Michael and Jason as a collection. And I noticed, along with the fact that I had done a, a review of the 112 uh, Mezco's version of uh, Leatherface, that I didn't have a 7-inch regular Leatherface in the collection from NECA. I have plenty of Michaels and Freddies and Jasons, but I didn't have just a basic, normal Leatherface from the original film. So, I rectified that this week. I saw this guy at Target. He was kind of an impulse buy. But I thought, you know what? You, you gotta have one with the apron on. You gotta have one of the regular versions. So, I picked that guy up this week. Like I said, sort of an impulse buy. That happens on occasion, don't you know? Now, the next one is also a horror figure, but this time it is from our dear friends over at Mezco, and it is Silent Hill 2, the Red Pyramid thing. Now, I am all for horror of any kind. I'm not a big Silent Hill 2 player or fan, but you know what? This is a great looking character, and you know I am a big fan of the 112 Collective. So there's no doubt I was gonna pick it up. I think I'm gonna review it tomorrow, so this is not gonna be my final pose or even probably the final location, although he looks pretty good up there next to Pennywise. So he's been added to the 112 shelf. Hopefully we'll be seeing another one here pretty quick. I know uh, both the Void and um, it's another one that I got notice of being charged for recently. Oh, Solomon Kane, yeah, both of those. So that's two. Number three is over here in the corner. I'm gonna find a good home for this up on one of the top shelves, but right now it's down here on the floor. This is the 80 page giant Batman exclusive set. This was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I didn't go that year, uh, and I didn't even realize that uh, they had used the box on this from the DCUC. So while this isn't technically DC Universe, it is by Mattel. That's the big box that it came in. And they did use the same body. So this is uh, four different versions of Batman, including the negative Batman, the rainbow Batman, and the uh, zebra Batman. The Strange Lives of Batman. So while you could very well say this is not, you don't have to have this set to be complete with the DC Universe Classics, you know what? I'm glad I was able to get it for a good price. Thanks to a good friend of mine. Now, that leaves us, ooh, let's see, one more thing after that one. Ah, yes. Masters of the Universe Classics. Now, if you remember, I've told you before that there are two figures that I needed to still get to feel like I was done with my Masters of the Universe Classics collection from Mattel. I never did the Super 7 stuff, and so I just needed this Sorceress, the Temple of Darkness Sorceress, and Skelka. So I picked up the Sorceress this week, loose, got a really good price finally on her. I've been looking for, oh, at least a couple years, watching for a good price. Finally got one loose. I was just going to open it up anyway. So that made sense to go that way. The other one is Skelcon, of course. I've got his vehicle up there on the ceiling. But I got that at loose also at a really good price, and he wasn't included. So I've still got to get a loose Skelcon somewhere along the line. If anybody knows anybody who's got one they're trying to get rid of, you let me know. And those are my four items this week. Hopefully you had a good productive collecting week. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you tell your friends. And until I talk to you on Monday when I do another top ten, have a great weekend.